Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, today I have seen the Deputy President Rigathe Gashagwa writing something about the late Maumau fighter, Dedan Kimadi's widow, Mukami Kimadi. But I think it is better I take you that, uh, through that story so that you can understand where this matter is coming from and where it's heading to. Gashagwa has said that he's going to, he has sent someone at the Kenyatta Hospital, of course, to understand exactly what is going on. But before Gashagwa writing what he wrote, the truth is that there is a video that emerged online where we could see Mukami Kimadi in so much pain at Kenyatta Hospital with a standing bill of one million. The truth is that she's supposed to leave the hospital, but the bill has not yet been cleared. So after the video, which I'm sure Gashagu has seen it, that is the time he came to social media to write that post. So first of all, watch this video. And <laughs> Non <laughs> So this is what Gashagwa posted later. I am saddened that Mukami, the wife of the hero of our freedom struggle, Field Marshal Dedan Kimati Wachiru, has been ill and admitted at hospital in Nairobi. This matter was brought to my attention yesterday while on a working tour in Nyanza with His Excellency President William Ruto. In this regard, I have tasked Embakasi Central Member of Parliament, Honorable Benjamin Gadiru, a.k.a. Major Donk, to look into her situation urgently. On my return to Nairobi later today, I will make time to visit our mother to check on her progress and assess possible intervention to make her life more comfortable. I wish her a quick recovery and God blessings. <laughs> Before we continue with this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our eternal subscribers, thank you so much and again to all our viewers. I'm still humbly requesting you to give our video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, personally, I don't understand the reason why someone like a widow, Mukami Kimadi, should be struggling in this country. We have had Mwai Kibaki government. We have had Uhuru Kenyatta government. Now we have William Ruto and the Gashagwa in the office. I've seen Kenyans. They don't want to ask even many questions. They're just asking a simple question. How can we help? So Kenyans, kama kawaida yao na ule wao safi. They would not want to see such an elderly woman suffering, struggling just to foot a bill. So they are calling on to understand how they can help. And because Gashaba got so much as shameful for calling himself a son of Mau Mau, when the real Mau Mau fighters are suffering in this country, when he's not aware what is going on, 
in the life of real Maumau fighters. He should apologize first of all for calling himself a Maumau fighter. <laughs> you know, it's funny to see national heroes are converted into national shame and the corrupt, shameful people given a national heroism. That's absurd. This should not happen. Na leo tusai mkweli kabisa. This woman should not struggle when Uhuru Kenyatta was just in the office. They just needed to make sure she has a card. Uyu ni mtu inafaa kuwa na insurance, life insurance. Whereby she don't need to pay anything in the hospital. You just walk in with the, that card and they clear your bill. You get treatment. No need to struggle for a payment after treatment. Kwani uhuru alikuwa na darasani shwati. We understand they might have dealt with other issues. Though there are also rumors which is not confirmed that Kibaki and Impair Security no uhuru akuja ka withdraw. I don't know about it. But these things I'm reading online. Then other things. We understand they have been given to the family, lands and other things. But what about her health? Uyu ni mutu inafaa struggle kwenda hospitali kweli. This is a person who should just walk in the hospital, get treated, then back home without questions. So Uhuru literally failed. We should not see such things coming from Mount Kenya. Another failure is Rigatha Gashagwa. When he took over office as the deputy president, now he want to come out as a kingpin of Mount Kenya region. That means you take care of the interests of the people in mountain, starting from those people you are aligning yourself with as Mau Mau fighters. Why should any Mau Mau fighter or a family of Mau Mau fighters Suffer in this country when Gashagwa is outside here talking as if he is a Mamau son. <laughs> now he's giving platform to goons to come outside here and refer to themselves as our Mamau fighters, Mamau sons, when really, really Mamau fighters are literally suffering in silence. So she has to come on camera so that people will see her, you feel the pain, then the people will have sympathy, then they will go on to try and help. That is what they have subjected this widow to. Very sad in a country like Kenya. So the president was not aware also. Because now this is the place where he got votes. Kuna wengine natuambia kwamba, oh, azimia walikuwa huko, then she blessed them. Why did Kwanini Gashago Hakuenda? In Kongetuambia Kwamba, Gashago Alikua Huko, Akafungiwa Singie. Ruta Alienda Huko, Akafungiwa Singie. Then we would buy into that. Raila walked there. And of course, when Raila went there, even to some extent, her life, her life was upgraded. Kuna something they did there, including being given a house. But no one stopped other individuals going to tap into that blessing. Someone wants to try now and politicize such a thing. These are curses. Isn't it an We should not go this far. We don't need to politicize such things. But thank to those who are sympathizing with this lady. So because of the shamefulness, Aibu, because now people, when they talk about such an issue, the first person they are going to look at is not even Uhuru Kenyatta, William Ruto, not even Uhuru Kenyatta now, it is Gaza Gashagwa. Because that's a person who is now telling everyone he's a son of Maumau. Akinandin Dinyor, Wanajita, real sons of Maumau fighters. Kimani Chungwa, where are they? Turning real heroes into national shame. 
I don't understand up to now. And this is now exposing Uhuru Kenyatta regarding the Gashagua and the team. Not even William Ruto. Ruto will come in as of now as the president. Sasa Gashagua, badala angafikiria kuunganisha Mount Kenya as of now, yeye amejenga kwa vita. Right, left, center. And you can see now how he's being exposed so badly. Why is it that he was not aware of such thing? Yet this is a family that he should associate with very closely. Why? So all things we are seeing Gashagwa writing here, it is called a cover up. He's just trying to do a cover up after being much exposed of what is happening and he's not in touch with the things happening on ground. Damage control. He don't mean what he's saying. But because he has been pushed up to a corner with this video that I'm imagining online, that's why he's coming out to control the whole damage. It's bad. This government should think better, one and for all, so that we will never have such videos again emerging online with elderly people like this one begging for help. The family might maybe not do the right thing because because of this mambo kama hospital mambo ya health government should deal with this one once and for all so that such a person should not go to a hospital then pay a bill or ashikiliwa kwa hospital kwa sababu hajalipa bill she should just have a premium card the same way the president has the same way Gaza Gashagwa has that you just walk to the hospital and with your card that's enough to settle even if it, it will turn into millions of shillings. I don't know your views. Let us meet in the comment section.